Uh, this is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I don't really think it's, it's legal to wait six days after you've signed a complaint. I think there's an obligation to file a complaint <laughs> of the allegation of harassment, cyber stalking and violating the restraint provisions of a civil protection order. Yes. And um, there's a big question about why was it June 16th, Heidi's 47th birthday? Yeah. <laughs> and you waited until the 2nd of August to sign it, and you waited to the 8th of August to file it, and then you had the court hearing on the 21st. Now, um, somebody's really not taking uh, this whole idea of domestic violence very seriously. In fact, <laughs> I would say that in 2012, when you arrested me, pro um, the domestic violence bench guide, yes, mm -hmm. would uh, support this idea that you've been using court orders to abduct and kidnap my sons, and then you've been violating the requirements of the RCWs to report uh -huh, to law enforcement or a prosecuting attorney that they have to arraign the individual within 14 days of knowledge, yes, uh, citation, oh, 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 or um, complaint, yeah. Now, did you have to have the 21st of August? I mean, who paid for the show that day? The court shall uh, determine necessity imposing a no-contact order. That's what the personal recognizance is, where you say the court clerk messed up this week and um, you decided to cause me an immense amount of pain and suffering. Ouch. <laughs> As I have informed law enforcement that the protection order issued, yes, mm -hmm, was issued uh, in violation of the RCWs. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now there's kidnapping in the first degree, RCW 9A. I informed you of the kidnapping of my son's poach and then kidnapping in the second degree. <laughs> now I know there's no protection order against Heidi because you won't remove the one that's there. Um, unlawful imprisonment. Um, Child molestation, stalking, cyber stalking, residential burglary, violation of a temporary protection order, uh, permanent or final protection orders, yes. Then there's that big issue. Uh, some abusers uh, use the courts to extend the harassment uh -huh, through lengthy custody fights. I've been informing you since November 20th that I was not given any due process. Ouch. Um, threats of abduction, actual abduction of the children across the international border from Guam to the United States of America. <laughs> now, I was left behind you know, on Guam with few options of obtaining justice because I had to stay there for six weeks so I could do seven, parent, seven hours of parenting classes. Yeah. And I've been seeking to protect my five sons, and um, she took them across international borders. Now, the United States of America has a hundred mile border around the actual continental United States of America. Outside of that borders is international waters. <laughs> uh, you know, you could say a uh, hundred miles around Guam, it's the United States territory. Pooch. But when you travel over international waters, it's actually international child abduction. Pooh. Now, in many states, when parents cross international jurisdictional lines to protect themselves or children, yes, or to be vindictive and abduct children, uh -huh, uh, uh, it can be grounds for finding custodial interference. Oh. Now, the court issued a protection order where I was not given any due process. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you issued a dissolution of marriage and had me arrested uh -huh, on the 27th, three days later, yes, and the 28th was a holiday, and the 29th was the actual day of arraignment. <laughs> she she filed for a dissolution of marriage on a Friday. Do we need to get the calendar out? And then you made up a bullshit story mm -hmm, about um, trying to contact her through a third party. See, let's say that there was any truth to any of this domestic violence or child abuse? Yes. Um, if we go to the date uh -huh, of May 24th, mm -hmm. it was a Friday, was it? Mm -hmm. And I was I was arrested on the oh, 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 May 24th of 2012. Yes. 
Um, May 24th of 2012, I was arrested on a Sunday night. Yes. You filed for dissolution of marriage on a Thursday. Right. You arranged for me to have uh, be arrested, not including court date? Yes. Two days later. <laughs> now, it's not only a bad faith dissolution of marriage. Mm -hmm. It's not only a wrongful execution of dissolution of marriage when you served me and arrest me at the same moment. <laughs> Um, you allowed for her to file a dissolution of marriage. She spent approximately three weeks getting all the forms filled out from welfare. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> for the allegation of violating the protection order uh, on approximately the 4th or, or Friday. Yeah, of May. Mm -hmm. Where welfare was very complicit in helping her do all of this. Uh huh. Now, did my wife tell anybody of her grandiose plan of having me arrested for calling Healthy Families of Cloud County on the 4th of May, mm -hmm, where they decided that they were not going to file a criminal uh, police report? Yes, yes, yes. Until, uh, well, 7, 14, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but when was it uh, actually that, uh, was it the 27th that you got the police report? <laughs> Maybe the Port Angeles um, Police Department would like to look that police report up because the RCW itself says if you have the information about, I should have, um, well, if I hadn't gotten arrested, uh, I would have been required to be arraigned by the 18th. Yes. Now, I did call them to find out if they got the actual documentation from the Attorney General on Guam. Mm-hmm. But as I mentioned, these waters between Guam and the United States of America, mm -hmm, subtracting approximately 200 miles on each side, yes, that's international waters. Now, there is no possible way that that, was arrest, that arrest was legal. They, Healthy Families, is in violation of the requirements of the RCW. That means the dissolution of marriage was fraudulent. You allowed for her to file a dissolution of marriage on the 24th. You served me and arrested me on the 27th. You arraigned me on the 29th. Mm -hmm. You reissued it on the next Thursday, the 31st. <coughs> knowing that I had not committed any crimes. I want the dissolution of marriage removed and the protection orders. I want my name taken off the docket, and I want my son's return to me. And since um, this is really what happened, why don't you look as a police department at the actual date of the phone call to Officer LaRue or the uh, officer that filled it out? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because um, it was fraudulent. You can't um, arrest somebody for... The allegation of violating a protection order 20 days before the actual arrest. <coughs> when I called Healthy Families of Clallam County.